where does Tesla currently stand on its quest for full autonomy? What, what's your sense? When can we see successful deployment of full autonomy? Well, on the highway already, the the probability of uh, intervention is extremely low. Yes. Um, so f for highway autonomy, um, with the latest release, especially the, the probability of needing to intervene um, is, is is really quite low. In fact, I'd say for stop and go traffic, the, the, it's, ma it's far safer than a person right now. And stop and go, the probability of an injury or an impact is much, much lower for autopilot than a person. And then with navigating autopilot, you can change lanes, take highway interchanges, and then we're coming at it from the other direction, which is low speed, full autonomy. And in a way, this is like, it's like, how, how does a person learn to drive? You learn to drive in the parking lot. You know, you know, first time you learn to drive probably wasn't jumping on Walker Street in San Francisco. That'd be crazy. You learn to drive in, in the parking lot, get things, get things right at low speed. And, um, and then the missing piece that we're working on is traffic lights and stop streets. Stop streets, stop, stop streets, I would say, actually, also relatively easy because, you, you know, you kind of know where the stop street is, worst case, you can geocode it, and then uh, use visualization to see where the line is and stop at the line to eliminate the GPS error. So it's actually, I'd say there's probably complex traffic lights and very windy roads are the two things that need to get solved. What's harder, perception or control for these problems? So being able to perfectly perceive everything or figuring out a plan once you perceive everything, how to interact with all the agents in the environment. In your sense, from a learning perspective, is perception or action harder in that giant, beautiful, multitask learning neural network? The, the hardest thing is having accurate representation of the physical objects in vector space. So trans taking the visual input, primarily visual input, uh, some uh, sonar and radar, and and then creating the an, an accurate vector space representation of the objects around you. Once you have an accurate vector space representation, the planning co and control is relatively easier. That says relatively easy. Basically, once you have accurate vector space representation, then then you're you're, you're kind of like a video game, like cars in like Grand Theft Auto or something. Like they work pretty well. They drive down the road. They don't crash, you know, pretty much unless you crash into them. Um, that's because they've they've got an accurate vector space representation of where the cars are, and they're just then, and then they're rendering that as the as the output. 